What's up guys and welcome to Kyroon's LOL's Fear Warrior Spec Guide. In this guide I'm gonna show you guys how to play a warrior, how to spec for one, what glyphs you get, and what is the rotation. So even though Fear Warriors got nerfed, some people still prefer Fury over Arms, even though Arms is better. So if you wanna see my arms guide on how to play a warrior just because it's better, um just click on the link right above that I'm gonna put and it'll take you right directly to the arms warrior guide in that guide I go over how to play an arms warrior because arms is better than fury right now but some people still like fury I've always liked arms but I used to play fury just because it was better I'm a type of person that likes to top meters and not just play a spec because I like it and that makes that, that might make me sound kinda of weird but if I'm not topping meters I'm not liking I'm not liking you know, I'm just not liking it. I get, I get bored. Okay, so let's start off with the spec. The spec is pretty much straightforward because Bliss does a good job on how to, like, he, Bliss does a good job on to make the the talents very detailed so people can understand them. Even if you're a second grader, you understand the, the spec. So just pause the video right now and copy the spec I have on right now because it is the best spec there is right now to be able to do the best DPS. Then let's go to the glyph. The glyphs you guys want to get is Glyph of Slam, Glyph of Bloodthirst, Glyph of Raging Blow, Glyph of Cleaving, Glyph of Colossus Smash, Glyph of Death Wish, Glyph of Berserker Rage, Glyph of Bloody Healing, and Glyph of Battle. These packs, I mean, these glyphs are probably th are they are the best glyphs you can you can, you could get for her, for Fury, but. They're not that very good, but they're still the best. <clears throat> the the glyphs arms are a little better, but for free they kind of suck. The next thing I'm gonna go over is the rotation. First of all, you want to start off with a Colossus Mash, then you want to go into a Bloodthirst, and then you want to go into a Raging Blow. After all those three things are on cooldown, you want to spam, slam, and heroic strike. Um, heroic strike does a little less damage but it takes more rage but it doesn't give you a global slam does a little more damage it takes a global but takes less rage so they kinda balance each other out but they're used for different occasions slam is used for when you have a lot of rage and you're, you're still doing your your main rotation and slam is used for when you're just doing your normal rotation and you have the normal amount of rage and everything else is on cooldown another thing is execute is probably the best spell you have but it's only you're only able to do it once the boss goes under 20 percent health so on the dummy the only thing you could do is colossus smash bloodthirst raging blow slam and heroic strike like I said, Slam is better than Heroic Strike, but Heroic Strike, you can use it while doing the other spells. So if there's a lot of AoE going out and you're getting Rage Capped, you can spam Heroic Strike while doing your other spells, including Slam. Hey guys, and I'm about to do my DPS rotation on the dummy. First of all, you want to Heroic Leap in, and then you want to lead with a Colossus Smash, then a Bloodthirst, and then a raging blow. You also want to do slam when it procs and heroic heroic strike whenever you have excessive rage. Also, another thing you want to do is spam battle shout on cooldown. After all of that, you want to combine your recklessness with your death wish. Both of them are very good and will make you do a lot of DPS. Um, with your recklessness, I recommend using also your trinkets if they're if you gotta hit them to proc them. Lastly, the last thing you want to do is now is that you don't want to spam Berserker Rage on cooldown. You want to leave it up for whenever you're not enraged and you want it for like and you want it for to be able to use Raging Blow. Raging Blow is one of the most annoying spells because you have to be enraged to be able to use it. And there will be times that you don't have anything to be enraged with, so you could have Berserker Rage as as your plan B, I guess you can say. But sometimes your plan B and your plan A will be all dead, so you won't have any plans and you will only have Colossus Smash, Bloodthirst, and Slam to be able to use. Um, I think that's it guys, I think I went over everything and I want you guys to like this video, watch my other guides, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace!
move on out and that's just a fucking shame. But I.